you give a challenge to the Western Church and the, the yeah. Western world, okay, and then anything else that's burning in your heart, so okay, this generation. okay. I'm pretty excited when I see the faith of some of the young people today that are just saying, God, I'll go anywhere. I'll do anything. There wasn't a lot of that when I grew up. Um, but what happened with those who did have that spark and that excitement, I saw how the church almost squashed them. Um, and I'm praying for this next generation, for the young people who are just saying, I'll go anywhere, I'll do anything, and they're doing it. They're going overseas or they're, you know, right where they're at in the inner cities or in their own suburbs, just going, you know, I'm going to be radical. I'm going to follow Jesus completely. I want it all. I'm, I'm not about the games and, and about, okay, entertain me to death in, in the church. I want to follow Jesus and I want to experience him. And I guess my challenge to the church is, is for those that are maybe my age or those who are uh, um, even further along, it's like, would you set the example for the young people? Because what happened um, in my generation when we were younger, uh, there were those who were radical, but there weren't people, once they got married, everything changed. Once they had kids, everything changed. And I'm just praying, oh God, could I be an example of someone who's married and has kids and is still thinking kingdom first? Like saying, you know, like 1 Corinthians 7, those who are married should live as though they're not. Uh, there's a sense in which this mission is bigger and can we still live and take risks and still surrender our lives and, and say, you know what, it's me, my wife, my family, I wanna demonstrate to them, you know what, look, when we follow Christ, yeah, that was a little scary. Yeah, that might have been a little dangerous. Yeah, that was not the, you know, logical move to make. But God did call us that direction. And let's head that way. And I want my kids to experience what it, it, what it looks like when we live by faith. But not only that, I want to be an example to the young people to say, you know what? Your, your mission with the Lord doesn't end when you get married. And suddenly, oh, well, you're dating. So focus on each other. And oh, it's your first year of marriage. You know, just focus on each other. And oh, you just had a kid. You know what? Then then take time for that, that little kid. And until he goes, to school then you'll be free but then once they're in school it's like oh they're teenagers now just collect that family together and worry about yourselves but then you're you're teaching them this mentality again is not about going out in the harvest and being a worker it's about let's protect our family now now let's keep us safe let's find some gated community and you know and keep them all in our house away from all the bad people and that's <laughs> there's no excuse for that that is not what, you, you can't find that in this book. It's about living for Him and you're missing out. Not only are you missing out on life, but your children are missing out on life when you do that. That's why so many of the kids, when they turn 18, they just ditch God all together because they didn't see anything real in your life. They, they didn't see that adventure and, and you didn't put yourself in positions where God had to come through and then he comes through and your whole family was going, wow, that was amazing. I am never going to leave that God. No, you just created a little bubble for yourself where how was God even going to operate in, in that? And I don't know. I, I don't want to be negative. I don't want to sound negative. I'm just, I just get sad because I go, not only are you missing out on life, but we are turning away our children by the droves because our lives are not the adventure that they see in Scripture and they are not experiencing the Holy Spirit. They're experiencing like a Christian version of the American dream that's watered down and, and we just make excuses for really idolizing our families um, rather than really putting Christ in the mission first.